This video is part of a docu-series detailing stories of viral videos and clips from the internet. I'm breaking them down to provide some context for what you may or may not come across with internet access. Please keep in mind this is an educational series informing the public on real news events. These stories are intended for mature audiences and viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back everyone and thank you for tuning in. We have another series of stories to share today. Go grab some food and open up your telly to follow along with the full uncut video. Today's video features the Chilean 007, a viral road rage incident gone wrong, baseball bat kangaroo court, and a robot battering ram. These videos are not intended to glorify anything, but are here to serve as education and highlight the importance of awareness and training. The first story in today's video is recent, occurring on December 29th of this year, 2023, in Chile. The story details a PDI detective who shot a criminal trying to assault him and steal his personal bag. Around 6 in the morning, the detective was expecting a colleague to pick him up from the street to give him a ride to work, when a car approaches and a robber exits the vehicle targeting the detective's bag. The robber had a handgun, but dropped the magazine giving the detective time to take a step back, pull out his service weapon, and defend himself after firing several shots at the criminal. The whole situation was captured on nearby surveillance cameras and was released to the public. I posted the clip in the Telegram and Instagram and many people were highlighting the importance of situational awareness as it appears the detective was unaware of the vehicle and the oncoming attack. I was glad to see this as this was one of the reasons I started the page, but I do want to point out that even though there was a lack of awareness, the detective went home that night because he still knew what to do and was trained enough to defend himself. There is an open investigation on the situation and I will post updates to the telegram. The next story details a fatal road rage incident that took place on November 19th in 2023 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The story starts around 12.05 p.m. when officers responded to the intersection of Lake Avenue and Maple Crest Road of reports of a shooting. The victim police spoke to witnessed the shooting as it happened resulting in that victim suffering injuries to the head after bullets shattered his passenger window. The victim told police he was driving behind a sedan that was driving recklessly until the sedan struck a van. The driver of the sedan cut off the van and forced him to stop in front of the intersection. The driver of the sedan, 19-year-old Alex Mozzie, and the passenger of the sedan both exited the vehicle, and the driver proceeded to punch out the driver's side window of the van. At this point, the driver of the van, 42-year-old Jason Henkel, fires three shots from his handgun, two hitting Mozzie, and a third shattering the window of the nearby vehicle with the victim inside. Nobody ended up with life-threatening injuries, but Jason Henkel, the driver of the van, was charged with criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon, and the attacker, Alex Mozzie, was charged with misdemeanor battery. The charges were later dropped against Jason, as Indiana does have standard ground laws. However, his method of defense received scrutiny due to the public danger. The clear takeaway appears to be that road rage is just a terrible decision for everybody involved. The next story comes from the premium telly, but is now posted in the main channel. The story comes from Brui, Brazil, and details the victim, 29-year-old Mosev Silva Jr., who was murdered by rival criminals. The crime occurred on Wednesday, December 12th of 2023, in which six gang members tied and fatally beat Moses Jr. with large sticks. The perpetrators mentioned the victim betrayed them in some way and recorded the video as proof of what they had done for others, but it quickly surfaced online. Moses was found lying in a wooded area with visible injuries Therefore, he was taken to a hospital where he would later pass from the wounds he received. The police received a tip regarding the perpetrators, and four of the six men were arrested during the following raid. Abino Silva, 
Daniel Sabrera, Bruno Souza, and Moses Filo. Due to the evidence located at the location of arrest, it is being assumed the incidents are related to drug trafficking. The videos are graphic and cannot be shown here, but I am mentioning the story as it occurred recently and the videos can be found elsewhere. This leads us to our next story taking place in Houston, Texas on December 27th of 2023 when deputies saw a semi-truck stalled on the road. When police approached the truck, the driver took off, refusing to pull over. A spike trap was successfully deployed, disabling the truck, causing a two-hour standoff until SWAT arrived, using a rook and a robot battering ram to tear open the truck, allowing officers to use flashbangs and a canine to apprehend the driver. It appears the driver was impaired and there was no cargo found inside the truck, making the motives unclear. There is not much to this story, but the video is something else, so I wanted to give you all some background information before I play the video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out the link in the pinned comment below. Ты 
А если спросят, о чем пишу, мы вновь соври.